Everything about this episode was amazing. Not just from the amazing visuals or the audio, but I really enjoyed the voice acting, the action, the story. Just from the way the episode starts with that cold opening, <laughs> what the f is Continuing from that, I really enjoyed the animation in this episode. This whole season, the animation is obviously a lot more better than it was back in 2013 when the show got canceled, but I really enjoyed how cinematic it looks. Not even just from that, but even the music cues in this episode were incredible. Other shows have done this, like The Mandalorian, where they add in different elements to their beats. But with the Clone Wars, they really add in the serious tone to the music. But I really enjoyed all the little teases they do to connecting this to Revenge of the Sith. The conversation between Obi-Wan and Ahsoka was really awesome. Not just from a story perspective on how it connects to Revenge of the Sith, but how it adds in more to Revenge of the Sith on the story. We're seeing a different side of what's concurring with that movie to this show. And I thought it was handled very well. I actually really enjoyed all the little elements they did trying to connect the dots to this and that movie. When it comes to characters, one of them that we haven't seen that much lately is Darth Maul. Oh, or Maul. You're all going to burn. We're all going to die. You don't know what you're doing. Okay. I really enjoyed Sam Witter's voice acting in this episode. He really added a lot of menacing cues to this character. He's not just some mustache twirling villain. He has a reason for what he's doing and it's not all evil. He knows the bigger scope of what's gonna happen in the story. I just thought that was an incredible way of showing that character. It's not even just from Sam Witter's uh, performance, but also Ray Park. Amazing to play Darth Maul again. We've just been hitting it hard, you know, coming up with some new stuff. It's been really nice. We're trying to do as much as we can, you know? Ray Park came back to do the cinematography in this episode with Darth Maul versus Ahsoka, and I really enjoy that they were able to combine both characters as one with Sam Witters and Ray Park's performance as Darth Maul, adding a lot more depth to this character that we haven't seen since the earlier days of the Clone Wars. The overall story of having Ahsoka and Maul meet up in this episode I thought was a really awesome element. Here we have one who used to be a Jedi, another one who used to be a Sith, and they're both abandoned by both of their fractions. Basically two characters that are Ronin soldiers with no masters, and I really like that element that they added to this episode. This is probably like my favorite episode of all of Clone Wars. There's a lot of amazing factors going on with it that I've been saying this whole thing. It looks like a movie. The music's amazing. The acting's amazing. The action is awesome. And everything that's going to happen alluding to Order 66. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I'm a little excited. <laughs> Go!